We're back fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. Just Jewel. And C here with another AK Blade episode. This go around we're featuring new knives from brands like We CMB Max Ace. Knives. You could put a little I pause. didn't give you much time. Civivi. And Heretic Knives. How about that? Thank goodness we're doing new knives. Last week felt really odd with It did, one. didn't it? Yeah, I felt like we should have just thrown one in just like, all right, here's a new knife. I think somebody of intelligence mentioned that. All right, <laughs> oh, your turn. They? Yep. Anyways, we're going to get down to business with the Wee Soothsayer. So there is four options for this guy. There's wow. regular carbon fiber, copper foil, silver foil, and Timascus. Timascus. We have the copper foil and silver foil ones here for you today. Yep. Your viewing pleasure. Today's frame locks are 7.9 inch overall with a 3.48 inch drop point CPM 20 CV blade with the all important jimping. Flat grind and open with a jimp flipper. Finishes vary, of course. These have a black stone wash finish and a silver bead blasted finish. Handles on the 6AL4V titanium in either gray or black and feature carbon fiber and lace. Your choice of plain. Actually, these are on lace. On lays? Mm -hmm. No ways. Yes, ways. Your choice of plain copper foil or silver foil, of course. You can go with the Timascus inlay. Are you sure it's an inlay, not an onlay? Probably the same one as this. Ah, so forget it. Really. It's not Sunday. <laughs> Option with them is steel blade. Each has a tip up reversible pocket clip that matches the titanium of the handle color. And then begin at just $243.95 from alandknife.com. If there's any left. If there's any left, yeah. So interesting design from them. I do think they got the high quality thing down, okay? Options are awesome. Really like the silver foil one. Opens and closes nicely. Good long blade. No negatives here. What do you think? The only negative I have, I like it too, by the way, is the inlay portion. Do you remember when QSP did one? Mm-hmm. And theirs was the whole scale. Handle. Yeah, I think they could have done that. But, hey, I, I like it. I think it. they like it's doing nice. some titanium in there. And it's selling out, so what do I, what do I know? All right, moving on. Each come with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. What's next? Following the Wee there is the CMB Made Knives Diagon. Diagonally? No. Diagonally? Diagonally. Right. Four options for this frame lock. Gold, orange, gray, and blue. Good old gold. Gold, orange, gray, and blue. We have the gray. It is 8.26 inches when fully deployed with a 3.62 inch M390 steel blade, satin finish, a little bit of jimping, and there's a jimped flipper stud for opening. Though finishes vary from version to version. Handle is 6AL4V titanium along with tip up pocket clip and backspacer. Lastly, these frame locks operate on copper ceramic ball bearing system and come with pouch cleaning cloth for only $229. 84. .com. All right. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. This kind of reminds me of a Best Tech, except better. I like how the piece here is made nicely into the, uh, the backspacer is made nicely into the knife. Nice and smooth, even. I like the pocket clip. I don't necessarily need the logos posted on the blade like that. Work them in with your pivot. We're getting used to that now. I like the size of the handle, and I like the smoothness of the deployment. That's great. All right, moving on. Next, carry. The People's Knife. Max Ace Beetle S. Only two options. White bone and carbon fiber. Courtesy of C, we have the white bone one here Yeah, today. it's two options too many. So it's 7.48 inch overall with a 3.34 inch M390. Now that's nice. Mm-hmm. That's open with a nail nick, and that's not. The sip joint features gray TC4 titanium bolsters, bronze pivot accents, and the infamous lanyard hole, because all slip joint pocket knives need a lanyard hole. Comes with box, cleaning cloth, and extras. It's got a ferro rod with it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna leave them lost in the wild. Get a Max Ace Beetle S for 180. Good price. LionLife.com. Okay, I'm just going to say my piece and then I'm going to just move on. Alright? I like the look of the knife and the quality. 
I like that Max Ace tried to do something different. That's it. No pocket clip. No flipper. Slip oh, joint. Oh, wow. Double stop. Triple stop. There's there's several. Quarter, half, three quarter. Wow. Slip joint. If you like slip joints, then this is the knife for you. But when I hold this up, it is not safe. You better keep it Max Ace people away from a pie. You'll have that thing eight stops on it in a minute. Okay. Oof. Next knife. Ready? Uh, you want to say what you think of it first? I think I did all throughout the whole thing. I, I mean, let me get me wrong. Huh? It is really nice. If this had a flipper right here and little ball bearings inside, man, we'd be all set. I'd be on that like Finch. That's great. Sabivi Savant. Uh, Three options to pick from. A savant. Not a slip joint. Plain G10 Cooperishio wood and G10 Twill. Reminds me of my dad's pants. That's great. Carbon fiber mix. I saw that tweed jacket. Tweed. 7.88 inches overall. This nested frame lock has super fast deployment with a gemmed flipper stud and cage ceramic ball bearing pivot system. The 14C 28N steel blade is 3.47 inches long with flat grind, drop point, and jimping. Finishes again vary from silver bead blast to black stone wash. This one has the black stone wash. Handle is stainless steel with either the black G10 inlay or the Kubarishia wood. This one is the 12 G10 option with Damascus blade. But all the other features are the same. So they all have tip up, reverse, pocket clips, come with pouches, cleaning cloths, and stickers. Be distinguished with the Civivi Savant starting at just $72.25. From All right, what do you think? Well, I think it's a nice addition to Civivi's lineup. It's a little slimmer than some of their more recent carries they've been letting out. However, the look and options aren't entirely new. I mean, we've seen Kubarishia wood and countless Civivis. And this sort of thin gentleman look profile was done on like the X-Arch, the Chronic, the Imperium, a few others. So although I do like the snapping to attention that it's got, I'm, I'm not like, you know, taken with it. I'm not like, I gotta have it. it it's nice. You? I think same thing. It's, it's nice. nice. Doesn't like uh, blow my skirt up. Alrighty, so we're gonna hit the Heretic, Heretic Knives Manticore Automatic next. Alright, but know. first! My favorite part. And the bosses. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Wow. Mm -hmm. As well as ring that bell. Oh, so you can be in the know when new episodes and reviews drop. And get entered into giveaways, which we are starting back up this week. So on both YouTube and AK's blog, we are hosting the Cold Steel EDC for your pocket giveaway. Yes, I named it. So if you like, share, comment, and subscribe here on the YouTube, you'll be entered to win your very own Cold Steel Trapper and Mini Trapper set. Uh, I know, it's amazing. And if you answer the AK trivia question on Land Nice blog, you'll be entered to win the Gentleman Stockman in both Jigbone and Yellow. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Also wanted to mention, we met a fellow YouTuber this week, a young fellow about right. seven or eight years old. I think his name was, I forgot what his name was. Clay? I know it's Clay. Name? I can remember his last name. Yeah. But he's at Clay Play toys has a lot of subscribers he's a really good kid and, and needs uh, more subscribers so if you take a minute and check him out oh you know what he does this thing that um he'll review things like you know toys and that kind of stuff but he also does this other thing where he does a like a tortilla challenge you ever heard of that no really what? do you know what it is no <laughs> <laughs> i watched him and his dad do it and this is how he did it Open they hand. did rock, paper, scissors, and then he went and <laughs> knocked his dad in the face. That's it great. was hilarious. That's great. <laughs> All right. We even. He did not do that. I'm just kidding. That's I'll great. lay that up there for the, for the bugs. Is that whole wheat? No. Okay, good. Back to the table. There it is. We're on, we're on the heretic knives manticore. So, a few different options. Bam. The general Woo. Manticore series. They got serrated blade options, varying handle colors. But we're featuring the new Bowie style Manticore S. Well, that gave me chills when you opened that up. That's so cool. it's the smallest OTF offering in the Manticore series, and it is 100% made and assembled in the USA. 
has similar features to that of the Manticore X, but in a more compact package. It is six and a half inch overall with a 2.625 L-Mac steel blade with jimping. Can't have L-Mac without jimping. It's a rule. Flat grind, stonewash finish, Bowie style cut, and plain edge. Handleless turquoise aluminum and showcases an integrated lanyard hole, hardened steel glass breaker, and tip down pocket clip. Weighing in at just 1.7 ounce. There we go. This automatic EDC is the perfect pocket companion with easy OTF blade, deployed and retracted ah, with trying to do it sideways slide here. button. So I can see it. Comes with box, pouch, and lube starting at only 301 from, from AtlanticKnife.com. All right. Tell the people what you think. Tell them what you think. Well, lay it on. I up. have to tell you, I really like this knife. Um. Believe it or not, the color kind of does it for me. I'm not really a turquoise or a teal type person, but I like it. I do really like the styling of this clip. It's a nice clip. It is though, isn't it? Makes him want to borrow it. Um, <laughs> it's great. Other than that, I mean, it's an OTF. It sure beats a charade to death now, doesn't it? It's, well, I, know you I like, like the, the color, color already. Oh, and I liked the minimal brand that they put on here. You said you didn't like the logo on the CMB. I like that they just put Heretic Knives, Manticore, slapped it and that was it. Yeah, I'm starting to get irritated by that. Yeah, I don't I don't want all this stuff written everywhere. I mean, I get why you put the steel on here. I get that. But it doesn't need to be written everywhere. I like that they didn't clutter it up. And I like the automaticness of it. The automaticness. The automaticness. You know what? Is that a technical term? But it is. It's I an industry it. term, actually. <laughs> it's like I'm on a floor model? <laughs> it does. Mm -hmm. So... However, I do think it's a touch much in price mm. for the size and the handle material. I feel like titanium would have been better. Since they did, like, a few of the Manticores already had titanium handles. I mean, I understand why they did it, but I feel like they could have just, you know, done the little extra and made it titanium. And I also understand why they made it six and a half inches. But if it were me, I would have gone seven and a half, eight. For three hundred dollars, at least seven and a half. Okay. Well, I'm kind of in the same boat. Because like a cold steel, we go to that for like what? Everything's too much nowadays. Well, that's they true. They raise their at prices. All. That's too. true, but you know. That brings us to the We Baloo. Five options to choose from on this carry: titanium with gray G10, titanium with carbon fiber, and two different titanium color options. And the titanium with micarta. Finally, there's a titanium with copper foil, carbon fiber inlay, and a damascus steel blade. Can't beat that. Uh -huh. I really like the shape of that blade. Anyways, this front flipper is 7.76 inch overall with a 3.31 inch drop point CPM 20 CV steel blade with flat grind and jimping. Yep. And sil silver bead blasted finish, at least on this model. The others have two tone finishes satin and black stone washed. Handle on this one is gray titanium with dark green micarta inlays on both sides. Blade is deployed with a front flipper and operates on caged First ceramic try. ball bearings. This nested frame lock also has a tip up titanium pocket clip lanyard hole and comes with pouch, cleaning cloth, stickers, and box. As we mentioned, there are other models, you know, different material inlays and varying finishes. So the Wee Baloo is a bare necessity. So make sure to grab yours starting at just 276 25 from AtlanticKnife.com. All right, it is all you. All you, man. Light it up. Well, I mean, you know what I think. I really like the blade shape a lot, and I like the styling of the knife. Kind of reminds me of a... Uh, one that QSP did once with this. Uh, kind of reminds me of a Wii. Oh, wait. It is, it is a, a Wii. Wii. Well, you know what I was thinking about earlier when you said. Um, like the Malice type of. About putting blade. the logos on there. You mm -hmm. shouldn't have to put your logo on there. I should be able to look at your stuff and tell it's yours. If not, then you're doing it wrong. I mean, it's that simple. You, well, you should be able to recognize it. I like it. putting, you know, your I name. I like how they integrate it. Your name or your logo on it. I understand you want to, you know, mm -hmm. show everybody it's yours. And with that. We're entering our final inning with the Max Ace Hephaestus. Hephaestus. Yep. Four options: gray titanium, bronze black titanium, Okumi, and yes, you guessed it, 
Ty Mascus. We've got the gray one here to show you. So this is Bam. the largest carry on the table this week at 9.44 inches overall with a 4.13 inch M390 blade with brushed satin finish and 0.24 inch thickness. Open with either the monstrous, and I do mean monstrous, jimp flipper stud. There it is. Mm. Or dual sided thumb studs. Hold on. There we go. Or there's also like this metal blasted thumb area. You could just manually open it like that. So this frame lock is not to be taken lightly, weighing in at 10.7 ounces and sporting titanium accents throughout, such as handle, inlay, tip up titanium pocket clip, backspacer, lanyard hole, and there's also a titanium blade locking pin. There it is. Which you can use to lock it and make it more like a, more like a fixed blade. Hmm. Not a fixed blade. I don't know if more I More like one. More like a Proponent does it, several of them do it, yeah. Well, I will say this about it. If knives were sold in calibers, this would put a cat down. That's great. I mean, you could throw that thing That's and put somebody out to, with it. to Wendy there. Yeah. All right. So, this mountain toppling monster Is... comes with cleaning cloth, hardware, and just a lock away black foam insert case. Those are always nice, aren't just they? Just pop it in there right there. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you knew it was coming. 466.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. Won't find it cheaper. <sighs> okay, so I have to say, although it looks extremely overbuilt and the locking pin is stupid. It could go on a 50s hood. I love this <laughs> knife. That's great. Looks amazing, high quality everything, comes with case and extras, and the options are a knockout. The only issue I really have with this knife is the weight, okay? If someone wanted to carry this knife, hypothetically, carry this knife, and they put it in their pocket, they better have some reinforcement, you know, a really tight belt or some zip ties, because even lighter blades make your pants sag, okay? be honest. Wow. Yeah, they do. And titanium is light, but it's not like the air of metal. It still weighs a great deal. And they have all this layering and the accents piled on. I like it, but it's going to be a collection piece for me. A knife I can take down, brag about, show off, but then put back on display. So what you're saying is, is that a Hephaestus in your pocket? <laughs> all right. Tell you what, I'm not too worried about it falling down. I would have this thing. I, mean, I like big knives. There it is. I mean, would you rather have Festus in your pocket? Would you, would you rather pay four hundred dollars for you know this little bit of titanium or get the whole block? Or no titanium. <laughs> I mean, oh wow! It's a it's a it's a big. It is almost like a work knife. of art. I it tell is. you. I mean, even the blade. The blade is ginormous. I mean, it look is. at all that. It didn't we didn't say it, but I bet it's like zero point two four inches. There. That's point two four. I think so. Maybe down maybe here. They, maybe they waited like four inches right there. All right. <laughs> Guess what? I misplaced the locking pin. No, it's right here. Oh, okay, good. That was our last knife. That was about six hundred dollars for this week. I just lost the pin. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring, ring, ring the bell. That way you get a chance to be the first to watch our reviews and take part in our episodes. You're also automatically entered into giveaways. So right now we're having the Cold Steel EDC for your pocket giveaway. On YouTube we are giving away the Cold Steel Trapper and Mini Trapper set. And if you head on over to AK's blog and answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered to win both the Cold Steel, Gentleman Stockman and Jigbone and... Yeah. We're also on all the social media sites. Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram and... We post AK deals, giveaway info, photo knife, fo knife photos, not photo knives, mm -hmm. and more. So be on the lookout. And of course, check out the podcast, Gearing Up With AK. Find on Spotify, iHeart, Google Podcasts, jumble of other podcast hosting sites. Mm. We haven't forgotten. We're just dragging our feet. Sorry. All right. Well, I was going to answer questions from last week's video, but no one asked any. Guess so it means we did our job right. I guess so. Don't I guess think? we can do our favorites, I guess. Favorites of the week. Yep. You can go first. Seriously? Yes. You want me to go first? Yep. Wow. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go... C. 
CMB. Oops, that was a major fail, fail my Epic part. Epic fail. I'm going to go with this one. Because I really like the way it fit my hand. I want to go with this one. I really do. Do you? I don't even care about the price. I mean, come on. But I like this knife a lot. If it had that nice straight blade, like a sheep's foot, mm -hmm. oh man, that would have made it a ten and a half as far as I'm concerned. You don't see very many of those unless you've been drinking. That's great. <sighs> well, I liked the wee soothsayer a lot. But. Yeah, I just hand it to me. Everyone should have known that I was going to go with this. This thing is awesome. It's, it's, there aren't words. You don't want to sing a song with that? Sing a song. Awesome. Everything is awesome? Yeah, everything is awesome. No, I don't. All right. Great. I think it, it doesn't need words. You can clearly see it. And be Sounds right. good to me. That's Let's awesome. wrap it up and ready? Well, you know what? You can tell them about the trip you had with your mother-in-law while I smacked this bug. Oh, yes. Are you ready? <laughs> she didn't go. It was great. <laughs> But we did have to come back home the next day and uh, we went out and eat. She's all right. She's all right? Yeah, she just makes up things that I do, supposedly. That's funny. Like, well, you said you were going to buy that for me. I remember you sitting there telling me as we sat over there in the little areas where we work. It was repeating. Oh, yeah, she trying knows to, that, buddy. Try, and try to get... She'll ask you a question like, guess what I saw outside? And you'll be like, I don't know, a deer. No. All right, a bear. No. Guess again. And she'll just keep going. Even though you say, all right, I give up. Yep. I don't know. No, no, guess. Guess. What were you thinking? You know. You know. And I mean, then you'll I, guess a few more I, times I and you're never going to get it. But then and she'll you... be like, it, it was a hybrid aphid. It's a hybrid aphid. I made that up. <laughs> Remember, you were Reflection doing it, of your grandfather. You were doing it to who me. Who died. You were doing it to me over there. And I'm like, just tell me. It's, 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 you know. I think you stopped after like, like I, I don't play the game. I don't give a like, I, what? I can't hear. Uh, my wife plays the game, though, so. Yeah, it's her mama. So it's her mom. Is what it is. Does that mean? Never mind. Is it mean? We'll catch that next week. I don't week. think it's mean. It doesn't mean that part. <laughs> and with that. Slapping somebody with a pita? I'm seeing this is. Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off. of a hot dog. <clears throat> Nancy and I still looking for the other half of my head. Does beat mm -hmm. a charade to death. Oh, I'm gonna... You gonna scroll it down? Oh, any chance I get on all uh, uh, outdoor brands over yeah, there. Yeah, can you like, <laughs> yeah, scroll I can do it that down? down. <laughs> you can't remember what you think, can you? I can't remember. I wrote it in a specific <laughs> way I like. Peel. I got him. Why did you do that? That's like somebody has a pimple on their arm, so you cut it off. <gasps>